What's going on, everybody? How's everybody's Wednesday going? Who's ready for a beer? I'm ready for a beer. No worries, man. No worries, worries. What's up, Sean? How you doing, brother? Save the robots. That's dope. That's dope. Sounds dope. Hey, if I can enjoy it for you, Graham, I'm more than happy to. Up oh, four o'clock, people. Let's do this. Do, 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 go over here. Bam. What is going on everybody? Happy Wednesday to you all and welcome to another live beer review. Today we're going to be looking at one from I guess a pretty big brewery, brewery when it comes to the northwest suburbs of Chicago. They're literally five minutes away from O'Hare so it's like I feel like these guys are the perfect place to go to if you have a layover in Chicago. Every once in a while maybe you have a couple hours to spare. So today we're going to be looking at um, the Mango Juice Cannon from Short Fuse Brewing Company. They've become one of my like my local favorites. I think one of my favorite beers of all time is from the Juice Cannon series with their Purple Juice Cannon. But today we're looking at the Mango Juice Cannon, which is a, a hazy double IPA uh, brewed with mangoes in it. So this guy comes out to a whopping 10% ABV. So yeah, this is higher up there on the ABV. So this isn't your average everyday pound a couple of these down and go on with the rest of your day. That This is have a few, sit back and enjoy them and just really just savor what you're going to be getting out of it. So I'm going to, like like I said before, uh, Short Fuse is literally 
five minutes away from O'Hare Airport in Schiller Park to where they have a great food menu and it's just like a really cool, really modern looking brewery. They have all kinds of different stuff. They do stuff with their Juice Cannon series where it's like they use a lot of fruits in with their I double IPAs, but then they also do some really creative like uh, Imperial Stouts or any kind of like a, I don't remember if you guys remember me doing that kind of that Worms and Dirt one from them to where it was like supposed to be like that Worm and Dirt kind of cake uh, stout from them, which was really good. But yeah, today we're going to be looking at one of their one of their juice cannons from their juice cannon series. So let's see. I'm expecting some really kind of tropical fruit notes out of this one. I know they say it's brewed with uh, citro mosaic and uh, Huel melon. I have no idea what Huel melon is, but and they also had 500 pounds of mango puree in this one. So I'm expecting a lot of bright mango flavors. Maybe a good balance between citra and mosaic hops in there just because that's a combination of hops that always really go really well together when it comes to mixing the balance of citrus and like pine, kind of adding a little bit of a berry notes with the mosaic. But it's gonna, it should, this should be like a the tropical juice bomb in my face, and I'm kind of excited to see if it sticks with that. So let's open this guy up and see what we're getting on the smell. <coughs> okay. So, oh yeah, hits you right in the face with like that strong tropical citrus flavor or the notes on the smell when it comes to, like that citra really comes out pretty, pretty, pretty hard on there. Very, very bright. Like I'm getting like grapefruit, orange citrus going on the nose. Definitely getting, it's just tropical flavors in my mouth and I just, I want it. <laughs> so today we're going to be drinking out of the land of drinking Fibs Brewing Company. IPA glass, and let's see how this guy pours. Let's see how hazy this guy is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Very... Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Almost lost it there. We're good. We're all good. Almost hit a party, party foul there. We don't want that. But look at that color. Very, very thick. Very hazy. Definitely is going to have like a really juicy, heavy mouthfeel just because of how thick of the pour this one is. You can definitely tell they used a lot of mango in this one just by like how thick this thing poured. So I'm I'm pretty excited. Let's see if this thing changes on the smell a little more. Yep, still getting a lot of that kind of tropical citrus going through on the nose. But I'm pretty excited for this one, so let's give this guy a try. So cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. It just hits you straight in the face when it comes to mango, citrus, juicy. Very, You could definitely get that nice hoppy note in there. There's a very, very significant hoppy bite go along with this. I had situations with this to where I had a feeling just because of so many bright citrus notes. I've Because I, I think my dad drank this one and I took a sip of it at one point. It might have been almost to the point when I took the sip of it where it was a little bit too acidic. When it, from too much citrus, but right now it's still balancing really well. The hoppiness and the tropical fruit notes are coming in really smooth. Definitely, you can taste the booziness out of this one. It definitely has a really, really heavy, juicy mouthfeel. And, yeah, they're like to me, okay, I'm still getting that. The citrus is really, the hop and the citrus is really kind of really really coming in I think a little bit too hard to where it's the point you kind of get this hoppy bite at the end that sits in your mouth but then it's there definitely is like high acidic notes in this one to where I feel like if you drank this and let it get to room temperature it would kind of get to the point where I feel like it would like start to activate if you had acid reflux just because of how acidic this thing is that it would start to kind of irritate your throat a little bit, to be honest. It's really, I would have liked to see a little bit of that like citrus kind of bite or the hoppy bite on it kind of get toned down a little bit, to be honest. I feel like it could have been balanced out a little bit better. The mango is in the, the mango that I'm getting in this is really nice, but I would have liked to see a little bit more push from maybe the citra a little bit because. I feel like I'm getting too much of like the mosaic on the on the back end of it to where it's that too much of that hoppy bite 
that isn't really balancing that well with the mango and the citra in there to kind of keep those tropical fruit notes a little bit forward for me. But, yeah, I love the mouthfeel of this one, to be honest. I liked... It's like kind of like a tartar kind of mango, not like a juicy, succulent mango. But that's the thing with this one. This always seems like it has a little bit of like a too acidic bite for me to where it's something to where it would like activate acid reflux. Like I'm getting like a that feel in your throat to where it's a little bit too much of a hoppy bite for me. I don't know. Because this guy, like I said before, this guy comes out at a 10% with, and this is a 28 IBU uh, beer, which is IBUs is measuring the bitterness when it comes to hops and IPAs, beers, you name it. But I'm really curious if it's maybe that Huel Melon that's kind of giving it that weird acidic kind of flavor because I know what I should be tasting with the Citra and the Mosaic. Adding mango to it should give it that overall really balanced tropical fruit note to where it's just tropical juice bomb in your face. But I've never had a beer with that Huel Melon in it before. At least I haven't had one to where they've put it in the description of the beer. But... I, I don't know if that's what's given me that really, like, acidic bite in it. I I would have liked to see if they would have made that without the Huel Melon in there to see if that's what's causing it. But to me, I could have I could have done without the acidic bite and the kind of just... I don't know, but I feel like the moment this gets kind of room temperature, it's not going to be as enjoyable of an experience for me, to be honest. But let's see what people are talking about on this one on Untapped. So... Like I said before, it's a 10% ABV with 28 IBUs and with over 142 different ratings on Untapped. This guy has an average rating of 3.51, which that's not bad at all. Really not bad. So let's see. Somebody gave it a 4.25. Somebody gave it a 3 out of 5. Let's see, a 3.75. Uh, 3.75 saying hazy and juicy. Uh, let's see, 3.5, 3.25. Four, three, two, five. Purchase it at Short Fuse. Uh, three, seven, five. Saying holy alcohol content. Yeah, you definitely really get that alcoholic bite in there too. It's that you can definitely tell this is an, a ten percent ABV. Uh, let's see, four, seven, five. Saying it's very good. Another four point four, seven, five. Let's see, three, seven, five, four, four, two, five, four, two, five. Yeah, so a lot of places, they're a little bit all over the place when it comes to reviews. I guess people really enjoy maybe that acidic bite in there for me. I would have just liked those natural citrus notes of the of the citra and the mosaic to kind of bring forward that mango a little bit more. And I feel like that Huel Melon being in there is kind of doing something really weird with this one. To where, if it's just given that off, it's not, I wouldn't say it's an off taste, but it's that acidic a little bit too hoppy bite that I'm getting or it's just like maybe the booziness is mixing in with there I don't know it's just I mean it's okay it's not my favorite hazy double IPA this is definitely not my favorite when it comes to their their juice cannon line I mean one of my favorite beers comes from the juice cannon line so I've had a lot better beers from short fuse to be honest so this is probably wouldn't be like a go-to one for me just because of some of those little off color off flavors in there for me that are just not as enjoyable as I would expect them to be for or somebody else might enjoy enjoy them a little bit but they're just not for me. So let's start going off the ratings here a little bit. So uh can art. Yeah, they pretty much stick with the kind of same style when it comes to their juice cannons to where it's like they have the short fuse on the top and then they tell you the kind of juice cannon it is with the fuse coming off the top there and then tells you hazy double IPA and then it'll say on the bottom with said fruit they use in there and then the cannon on the bottom so yeah really clean really nice colors to it definitely the colorway is something that caught my attention when I purchased this at the liquor store so definitely one of the reasons why I purchased this because there's mango in there, the bright yellow colors along with that green just makes it look really nice. So I'd give this a solid like 4 out of 5 when it comes to can art. Really bright colors, really cool, kind of just in your face description kind of situations. Really like the color choices when it comes to the, the orange, yellow, and green in there to kind of make the label pop at you a little bit. 
So, if I got this mango juice cannon in a flight at short fuse, would I get another one? To be honest, probably not. Um, it's just, I've had so many better hazy double IPAs when it comes to adding mango in there, I've, but I've never seen one add heel melon in it as well. So, I'm thinking that's what that kind of off flavor is for me. That just, I don't know. It's not something I'm used to, and it's not something that's like an enjoyable experience for me. When it comes to a double IPA with mango in it, I've had so many other different mango double IPAs before to where it's like, I don't know, I can, this one's probably on the lower tier of kind of flip, that kind of flavor profile of an IPA for me. But Short Fuse does have great beers. This just, this one's not my favorite. So what is my final rating on this guy going to be? The citrus notes are good. The mango is nice. It's kind of more of like a tart mango. But there's that kind of like that acid reflux kind of causing bitterness in there that's just not for me. I don't know. It's just like the more I drink it, the more I'm getting those notes that stick, stick in my throat. And it's kind of starts to kind of get that feeling of acid reflux started. It's just, it's not really that enjoyable for me, to be honest. I'm going to give this... Uh, it's a hard one. So I probably wouldn't get into flight uh, glasses by itself. Uh, I'd give this like maybe a six and a half, six two five around there. To be honest, out of all the beers that I've had from Short Fuse, this is probably the least favorite one I've had from them. It's just not every brewery is going to have every single one be a home run. It's sometimes you might find one that's just not for you. This one to me is just not for me. There's something about, I think it's that Huel Melon in there that's kind of giving that weird acidic flavor that just starts messing with my acid reflux a little bit that just isn't really enjoyable. So I'm going to give it like a solid 6.25 I think. That's where I'm going to go with this one. I wouldn't give it like a terrible rating because there are notes in this that I still enjoy. I still enjoy like the, the grapefruit citrus kind of flavors I get from the citra. I like that pine kind of berry kind of note that comes from their mosaic with that slight citrus kind of making it enjoyable but it's something with that huel melon and just really acidic notes in here that just it's kind of ruining the enjoyable experience for me i don't know it's just but everybody's flavor profile is different so if you want to give it a try and see if you like it give it a shot you might be able to you might enjoy it a little bit more than me if you don't if you don't have acid reflux this might be something you enjoy. That heel melon might be kind of a different flavor that you've been looking for in an IPA that just kind of creates that more acidic flavor where if you enjoy that, this might be the beer for you. It's just not the double IPA for me, to be honest. I probably wouldn't buy another four-pack of this. and that's just, that's just my opinion. Opinions are just everybody has a different flavor profile and everybody has different, like, how they taste things. And to me... It's just not my favorite. So I'm going to give this a solid, like, yeah, 6.25, I think, is where I'm going to leave this one. Definitely would recommend some other of the juice cannons I've really enjoyed. Of course, I'm just going to name my favorite one from them is the Purple Juice Cannon. They're kind of like Concord Grape Double IPA, which I think is absolutely amazing. If you ever get your hands on the Purple Juice Cannon, don't, re don't hesitate. Just buy it. It's that good, in my opinion. It's just... They, they make really good stouts, so it's like they have a bunch of other options that they make solid beers on. For this one, this one just isn't my favorite. I wouldn't really go out of my way to purchase this one again. And if I like saw this at like a party, I'd probably look for a different beer that's in the fridge or the cooler to kind of go for first before I go for this one. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Not all of them are going to be home runs, so shit happens. Hey. If, as long if you're able to drink this and enjoy it, more power to you. You can have it. I'm really not gonna go out of my way to search for this one anymore. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. So thank you everybody again for tuning in. You guys are amazing. Uh, let's see. If you're new to the channel, like we see, and you like kind of responses I'm getting for different like beers and all kinds of different stuff I'm doing, make sure that subscribe button along with the notification bell I'll let you know where whenever I go live doing another review. Also, if you're looking to see more of like a social media aspect of drinking beer, uh, make sure to join Untapped. I know 
A lot of people in here still drink beer and are not on Untapped yet. So make sure to do that. It's a fun little kind of platform to where you can get a hold with other beer drinkers, kind of see what's in your area. That's a real. There's a lot of stuff to do on that app. Plus, you can just see what other friends are drinking and kind of keep an eye out for stuff that you should possibly pick up moving forward. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. So thank you again, everybody in chat. You guys are awesome. Uh, make sure that like button on your way out would help me out greatly. But yeah, pretty much it. I'm going to say it like I always say. If you're going to drink, drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. And I will see you all tomorrow. Cheers.